Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Darth Rage Reviews. This is your source for the Force. Today, I'm going to go into a little bit of uh, more detail. The Diamond Launcher here, the Diamond Software Controller for my Ultra Sabers, the Fallen. Uh, so I wanted to change something a little up, um, make an interesting little font. I want to show you how easy it is. Again, I'm going to be using the font wizard that's down here on the bottom. This is the easiest way to do it. It's uh, kind of a click, cut, paste, uh, very, very simple. So when you pull up the font wizard, and we're going to go to the express wizard that's down here. So when you pull that up, this is everything you need right in here. Um, so I've already started working on this um, and again you go up here on the top and this shows you all of the different choices you have so I've got uh, currently have 14 fonts loaded on this um, 14 separate fonts and uh, the one that we're working on right now is this episode 4 Express right here sorry not that episode 4 Express it was the episode 2 episode 2 Express. So again, what I'm looking for here is uh, I want a white blade and I want really white everything on here except for when I do a stab, when I do a clash, when I do a swing, when I do a force move, I want it to flash to that bright Sith red. Um, I just kind of feel like that blade will tell a story. It's flashing white. You go for a stab it flashes red, uh, it's glowing white, you go for a little spin or a swing and it flashes red. I just think it should be a really neat effect. So I'm going to change this all up and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and write it to the board, take this outside, swing it around some and let you guys see what we've got. So again up here are your different fonts, uh, down here are the different uh, sounds you can choose from. So uh, I'm going to go and choose, I like the episode 2, I also like the episode 5, I'm actually going to go with episode 5 for the sounds. So this loads all the pre-sounds that they have for the episode 5 setup, and that's for the different sound effects for the swings, uh, all of the different gesture effects, uh, the different clash effects, the force effect, which is typically has a unique audio in it, and I'll show you guys that when we, when we pull it out. So uh, I'm going to go with episode 5 for the audio. Again, when I turn it on and turn it off, so this is power on and this is power off, I want those to flash red when they do that. So those are already set up like that. The main blade color here is in the center, and I've got that at the white. That's what this gray over here is, so that's white. So again, on this impact, I want to take the impact, and I want to set it to that Sith Red. So for the spin, I also want to set that to the Sith Red. So the idle, I'm going to keep where it is. Force move, I want that on Sith Red. And this is the stab, it's on fifth red, Sith Red, and the lockup also want that to be on Sith Red. So again, what we should have here, oops, sorry, this one is the swing, swing, why not Sith Red? So again, it should be a white blade when I pull it out here, uh, with an, uh, a white idol as well, but then everything else is going to be a bold Sith Red in there when we get in there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write this to the board. Again, I want to show you how easy this is. Um, and again, if you, if you have any questions when you're doing this, you can always test the effects and test the colors of these. So for example, the force effect. So we've got the force effect pulled up here, and if I wanted to test the effect, press this button. And it flashes it through on the lightsaber that's attached right here. You can also hear the sound of it as well. So it's a really cool effect. It's got a neat audio. I think that is episode 5. I want to say that's the carbon freezing uh, when they were freezing uh, Han and trying to freeze Luke. Um, so a unique effect that for the force move, and that's when you twist your wrist with a gesture with the Ultra Sabers Diamond Controller. So you can do that with all the colors, uh, test the colors to make sure they look right before you do it, test the effects, make sure they sound right before you do it. So when we're done, we want to click down here on Finish. That's going to do everything, and then simply Write Effects. And you'll see it only takes a couple of seconds. So once this writes, guys, I'm going to take this outside, wait for it to get a little dark outside, uh, and then swing this around some so you can really see the effects that I've programmed in here. I think you're going to like it. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm looking forward to it. So once this writes, I'm going to run outside, turn this blade on, and show you guys what we've got. Oh, 
All right, so I've got it outside. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough to really see, but uh, we're going to give it a shot anyway. So uh, if you guys remember, we've set everything really. It's a silver blade, uh, but everything else is going to be set to red. So uh, the turn on, turn off will be red. Uh, the flash on clash, the lock up, the swing, the force effect, all of it should come up red. And I'm hoping it looks kind of cool. So let's fire it up and see. Yep, so I fired up with a red, went to the uh, Aegean Silver Blade. Um, when we stab, yep, that's definite red. When we force effect is red. The swinging. You can see that goes red. Lock up. That's a red. Red flash on clash. So I think it looks kind of cool. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. But that's just some of the fun you can have with your Diamond Controller Ultra Savers. So as you guys can see, that's how simple it is to change your blade colors, to change your sounds, to do whatever you want using a Font Wizard. So this is the quickest way of doing it through the Ultra Savers Diamond Controller software. It's the Font Wizard down here. It's literally just drag and drop. You're cutting, uh, pasting, you're clicking on a, a color, clicking on a sound and adding it to a different effect. You can actually get in and change those effects yourself. You can load your own sounds in there. There's a whole lot more you can do it. I hope to get a little more in depth later on, um, but right now that shows you how quick, how easy it is to take your diamond controller uh, ultra sabers and, and really turn it into whatever you want. Hope you guys enjoyed that video today. Once again, guys, I'm gonna be putting out all kinds of stuff, lightsaber reviews, all your little Star Wars information, some cosplay stuff. It's all gonna be right here on Darth Rage Reviews. Stay tuned.